Well, hello everybody and welcome back. By golly, it's already Wednesday. Seems like the weeks is just flying by and won't be long before old Santa Claus will be coming and Christmas will be upon us before we know it. So y'all better start being haved. That's what I'm telling you. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at some voicings of the loud steel because when you're playing any kind of music, it's uh, the music is following the voice of the singer. And uh, that's why we got different keys, different tunings, and such on as that. Because everybody don't sound the same. Everybody can't sing the same. They some sing high, some in the middle, some low. Bass, treble, tenor, you know the drill. Anyway, I'm tuning my standard open E tuning. And today we're going to do a lot of bar moves. Your bar is your voice, and so is your picking hand. So there's different styles. See how I did that? Played that in the key of G, and I was just making a windshield wiper move it. I'm going all the way here to. the G, go to that A, like that. Then to a D, like that. From the D to the E, F, back to the G, or I could have done it. Which is another G. Now, all right, so that's just a voicing. Uh, here's another voicing that I like to use, and it's a bluesy style playing in an open E. And I'm playing in the key of E this time instead of the key of G. And I'm just giving y'all some examples and some ideals. It's not no one certain song we're learning or nothing. I'm pulling by that bar, you know the drill. Off with that. That gives you a good setup to go to your beat. Oh, 
say if you're going up with the note instead of that's a decrease. Now let me show you an increase. slant between frets four and three. But that's a voicing. right here slide between the D and the E. Word A. I'm going to a D, but I'm going all the way down to the seventh fret right there, which is a B, and I'm going. to the high G, so I'm going. And back down here to the G. Then A.
different style, a little southern rock style. <laughs> try to follow the singer and the lead. There's also things such as knowing when to pick and when not to pick. Uh, you don't want to pick over the guitar picker playing his lead part. Uh, you might could put some...
just a G, B flat, C, back, that's all it is, that's a G, D, then going to an E to an F, slide back to a C, then to the D. slide around and slip and do things like something out of what we're doing here uh, let me know if you do i appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and a like that helps our channel i really do appreciate each and every one of y'all coming by uh welcome all the new members over here on our facebook page y'all have a great week stay warm we're supposed to actually get to 60 degrees today so whoop whoop gonna be fine weather to be outside y'all have a great week